Goodbye, everybody. everybody. Happy opposite day. Opposite. <laughs> it's the only thing we could think of. So it was a good one, though. It yeah. was, but harder than you realize. It is mm -hmm. harder. Mm -hmm. Backwards day. We could have worked clothes yes. backwards. It'd be like Chris Cross. Yep. We could be like Chris Cross. But but, but opposite is yeah, wear a high heels and a sneaker to work. Well, that wasn't gonna work. Very no, that's not gonna... <laughs> wear shoes on the opposite feet. That yeah, just I fall work. down as it is. So I'd actually thought about that. I thought about like I told you guys. I thought about wearing my pajamas to work. Oh, but then that would mean I'd have to wear my work clothes to bed. To bed. That's right. <laughs> Actually, what I wear could probably could be worn to bed. This is, you know. So. I'm in athletic gear today. So, yeah, you probably could. <laughs> so, we have a new cameraman. I so, know, it's finally. no longer cameraman Joe. We've let him go, and it's now cameraman Ryan. He's nice and sleek. Yeah, he is. He's very sleek. Mm -mm. <laughs> and we have a new sound bowl. So I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? Yeah, that's our new sound, our microphone. Oh, so snowball. Snowball. So hopefully you'll be able to. Oh, it says blue. Mm -hmm. I thought it said Huey. Bahui. Oh. Bahui. Oh, it does get a little Bahui like that. New, Bahui Lewis in the news. <laughs> anyway, so hopefully you can hear us, except for when Leslie drops. Because there's some things <laughs> yeah. that maybe I shouldn't say. Yeah, but it's. <laughs> I, I think I just do it on a regular basis. You do. <laughs> so what have we found? Today? Oh, I heard something on the news today. So you guys look it up. This is something you guys could do at home. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the microphone. GTS that. He was taking that. You can look up your birth date. Um, okay, let's look it up. Yeah, just just the date. So mine is April 6th. Is there a certain site that we're looking at? We're well, it comes it. up right off the bat. So April 6th. Yeah, Google. And then um, hit search. And mine comes up. It says, kind of like this, April 6th. And then here it says events. And, oh, April 6th is Tartan Day, which is pretty good since I'm Scottish. <laughs> events. So the biggest event on mine, April 6th, 1966, was the Westfall UFO sighting. Oh, okay. I am not a whole service in here. A whole you aren't? No. I'm on Wi-Fi. Are you on Wi-Fi? Yeah, that's it. Senior oh center, all one word, capital S, capital C. Keep that in your oh, pocket for when you come right. here. Yeah. <laughs> so mine is the Westfall UFO sighting, which was in Melbourne, uh, Melbourne, Victoria, mm -hmm. which is Australia, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And 200 people, a class, a, a school, and their teacher all saw three UFOs in 1966, and it's had the 50-year, um, I've never heard of this sighting. Mm -hmm. It's one of the biggest ones they've tried to keep secret, but now it's coming out because the government has released all the UFO Aliens stuff. Might be real. Yeah. Um, I think they're angels and... I think so. I yeah. Think there's other... Angels, is, yeah. Put your password in there. Oh, so... Um, oh, you're on a different one. And the Melbourne teacher said he was ones. gagged about, not actually gagged, but they told him, don't ever say you saw anything. So anyway, look that up. West Fall, Westall UFOs on April 6, 1966. Hmm. So that was my, my big event. So what was yours? So mine's National Sports Day. Um, but the biggest event on here is the... 2002 MTV Music Awards, which oh. two, 2002 is when I graduated high school. Oh, yeah. Um, but that's funny because we were talking about it earlier, and I'm like, yeah, that's when everybody was still watching MTV. For videos. Yeah. That was a big deal when that came out. A lot of people now think it's just these TV shows, but it but was not, it was 24-hour music videos yes. of all the bands. That's the first time I ever saw Red Hot Chili Peppers mm -hmm. was on that. And yeah. you just... You would tune in and there's music and the band it's playing. Really and they really made videos. Like they yeah. actually made video videos. I, yeah, they're they so had cool. Dancing. That's what I love. Like because, lots of yeah. dancing. And then I think the first TV was a was real world. 
Oh and, yeah. Yeah. And they, and it blew up from there. Now, I, the only time I watch MTV now is for the challenge. Cause I do like that show though. The challenge. I'm kind of hooked on that, but yeah, it was just music. So it's just an, almost like an, you could turn on TV network. and have a, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. But you could turn on MTV and just have a party. Mm -hmm. We would, we'd have people over and you turned uh -huh. on MTV with your TV and that was your party. Mm -hmm. Uh, amongst other things, but <laughs> that was the background that for your, your party. Music. That was your music. Oh, but yeah, I would wake up, get my cereal, watch some music videos, yeah. and then try to mimic what they yes, were doing. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. I think that's how we all learned to dance. <laughs> MTV. So what was your date? Okay, are we looking for the national day or no, the event? Well, you can do a national day too. So do you have a national just, day that day? It just tells what's special about March 25th. Well, I was born. Oh, it doesn't have event? Oh, yeah, no. there you go. And... Yep. It's the holiday, National Day, March 25th. About March 25th. It keeps coming up. Let me see what it That's says. That's Vince's birthday, it. too. So it's a really cool day. <laughs> Vince, national holiday. Is that what you're saying? No, that's not. No, what let's see. I've got the one that goes, okay, 25th. I'll let's tell you what happens, on, what happens on March 25th. Um, okay, here's your event. Oh. Well, that sounds terrible. Yeah. 1971, the Bangladesh genocide. Well, that is something. And the Treaty of Amiens? Amiens? Oh, wow. And the 73rd Academy Awards. Well, there we go. There you go. It's also so Freedom Day. exciting. It's also what? Freedom Day. And Freedom like Day, it. yeah major events anyway so oh and there's one for women's history oh gloria steinem was born oh i think i have remembered that she's an heiress yeah i did mine was, was uh, houdini day. houdini was born oh, on my birthday there you go i had michael jackson did you oh really now who was it that said somebody was born in ingrid bergman Eggman? Ingrid Bergman mm -hmm. was, was born on the 29th and died on august 29th which is super weird that really? is weird that's rare yeah. So I know I've heard of a lot of people dying within a month of their, their birth birthday. date, but I have not heard of right on the day. Well, my dad died the day before mm -hmm. his birthday, but self-inflicted. So anyway, yeah, there's anyway, look up your birthday, mm -hmm. not just the year, but just your birthday. It's all kind of stuff that, uh, ooh. Well, I can there's... tell you that this year on my birthday, will be pecan day Ooh. Ooh. and international waffle day oh we should have oh look at that up. yeah pecan, pecan waffles. and waffles pecan waffles yeah, that, that, on okay. your birthday okay I I i'm marking that down because <laughs> i still have that little waffle maker oh yeah, yeah it's just, so that. okay so on yours which comes up first march 25th i think we still have batter don't we i have it all in a box that i took home <laughs> when you were cleaning your office it all went into my office Okay, so we're going to have pecan waffles on March 25th. Um, pecans, waffles. Now, what is my birthday? Okay, April 6th. Let's see. There's so much stuff you can look up. We're thinking food, of yep. course. Yours will be on April 6th this year. It's National Burrito Day. Oh, ooh. And International <laughs> Fun at Work Day. Oh, oh, well, there you go. Okay, so we'll have burritos fun. and fun. Burritos and fun. Okay, right, so Leslie, what is Leslie's? What's your birthday again, Leslie? 29th of August. August 29th. You're an August baby, a Leo, huh? Virgo. Virgo. Oh, you're that's the cups. 29th? Yep. Mm -hmm. Thinking, thinking. It's thinking. Pottery's bottle oven day. <laughs> what? I don't know. Pottery <laughs> bottle oven day. Oh, national chop Honor the last oh, time the chop traditional. Suey. Yeah. And then chop suey, national chop suey day. Okay, we'll have chop suey and <laughs> we will put a bottle in the oven. Well, oh. we have kilns here, my fault. Oh, know. yeah. <laughs> I've seen some really cool stuff though when you do with those bottles. We did that for a while. I think it was pre Leslie, might have even been pre Michelle, where we took glass bottles that colored. Was, that was me, and Michelle. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And put them in the kiln mm -hmm. and melted them. Yeah. And make spoon rest out of them. Yeah. yeah. Make, that so makes more things. sense because you're the crafty one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was like, 
Wait, before you guys, there was no crafty. <laughs> All right. Oh, cool. Okay. So anyway, look your birthday up and find out how cool you are. Yeah. And then, um, so I found the 10, we go down the rabbit hole, as Michelle oh, yeah. always called it, because when we're looking things up, we find things on the news and look on the internet. And so as I was going down the rabbit hole, this thing popped up 10 worst cities to live in in Washington, mm -hmm. which a couple of them really surprised me. Some of them I was not so surprised. Mm -hmm. But the number one, well, it, it went backwards. So um, number 10, mm -hmm. Port Angeles. I didn't know. There's a lot of logging. Logging. Okay. Uh, number nine, Port Orchard. Now, that's funny because I always think of Port Orchard having all kinds of orchards and mm -hmm. flowers yeah. and you know, not, apparently not. And then number eight is Bremerton. So I know that's a shipyard and... Mm -hmm. That's where Mike's from. Yeah, I was going to oh, say. Oh, is it really? Right, yeah. Okay, well, Mike's from the number eighth worst city to live in, <laughs> in Washington. Maybe why he's here. Number seven is Parkland. Parkland. Yeah, it's right outside of Tacoma. Yeah, it's right oh, outside. Oh, Tacoma? It's actually a Tacoma zip code. It's oh. Just a... Kind of a outskirts. Yes. Number six is Kelso. I've been there. I can see that. Sorry, Kelso. Uh, number uh, five, Centralia. It's very rural. Like it's yeah, because it's of... right off the freeway, yeah. right? Off mm -hmm. the five, so not a, not a lot of pretty. <laughs> number four. Union Gap. Hmm. Which Union I'm kind of, Gap. I'm kind of shocked like for that to be on the list. Because you know. wouldn't think of that. Well, you wouldn't think of that because it's got cute little neighborhoods and it's got well, the what, mall. What did they base it on? Was it on? Oh, um, they don't give that. Oh, they don't give that because of what? <laughs> they just, said, they just the gave worst. you the list. Yeah. <laughs> was it crime? Was yeah, it... economy. Uh, economy. I don't know. And you know, being the mall down there, that could be one of the reasons that it's up there in crime because things yeah. do happen by the mall. Well, yeah. and it could be, too, the fact that it's... Um, really kind of an extension of Yakima. It's mm -hmm. not like Sela where they've got their own hillside valley type of thing. So and there's a smaller population. So the percentage of crime yeah. per population is going to be higher. Yeah. So and then number three is Airway Heights. Mm -hmm. You said that was Spokane. That's right outside of Spokane, I believe, over by and whatever it's called out there. Yeah. It's on the outside. I, I was thinking maybe it was at the end of a runway, mm -hmm. you know, airway heights. I don't know. Wouldn't want to live there. Number two is Hoquiam. Hoquiam. I can't that? remember where, where is Hoquiam at? is. We're going to GTS that. I heard that. it. Yeah, GTS that while I go on to number one. And if you've been there, you'll understand. Quincy. Quincy stinks i've driven through it but i i could i have not stopped there i've driven i've the same thing yeah we've through it, driven haven't. through it but there's a potato factory there i believe mm. that makes it smell mm -hmm. Mm. yeah so that's, that's like mobile was it has a paper meal there and like when that was going on oh, it's oh yeah, so bad. Meal, yeah i think the same thing with the potato meal but um and sugar beet is another plant is it it's over by aberdeen it's what west of aberdeen is mm -hmm. West of Aberdeen. Oh, I know where that, yeah, kind of Giggs Harbor type area there. Um, Between Aberdeen and Grays Harbor. Grays so Harbor. Okay. All right. So Yakima didn't make the list. No. <laughs> well, well, that's, that's a good, good thing. So our yeah. neighbor Union Gap. We don't know but... what number 11 was, but we're just going to assume it was <laughs> Yakima. <laughs> yeah. So that's your 10 worst cities to live in in Washington, according to something on the internet. Thank you. Thank so for you. going down the rabbit hole. Right? Yes, but you're welcome. Now you you went down the rabbit hole too and found some fun stuff. Well, because where our topic was opposite day. Yes. Today, so I kind of went and looked at things that you do for opposite days. So here's 12 of the things to celebrate. One is call in sick for sick for work and then show up anyway. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, I figured since I was so new, I wasn't going to attempt that. Um, wear your clothes inside out. Now, I don't see that as opposite day. I don't either. I it's backwards. That's inside out day. Yeah. Day, but that was one of the options. Huh. Wear your shoes on the opposite 
feet. I was going to do that, but yeah, and then knew I'd fall down. All fall down. Yeah. And speak in opposites. That would take a lot of processing in my mind. So when you're saying yes, you should say, when you mean yes, it should be no. no. And you should see it's already yeah. a process. Yeah, it is a process. <laughs> or saying sentences, sentence saying, saying sentences. Sally by the seashore? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. That like, uh, don't I? <laughs> Sing a song backward. Well, first I'd have oh, to have the lyrics in front first of First I was going to say, first I'd have to learn how to sing it forward. <laughs> and then we could do it. it. It says it's good mental exercise. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Um, call people by their last name. So um, like we said, if you're military, mm -hmm. that's probably not a problem because military always call does it by last, last name. But yeah. that is interesting. Call I have an even longer last name than I have a first one. So. <laughs> um, but you have a great story about that. About my the last name? Yes. So my last name is Christensen. So people immediately think that it's spelled like Christensen, Christensen. And I always have to spell it out. And so my husband said that um, years ago, somebody came up with, it's actually broken down into Christ is on. Yeah. So when I'm on the it. phone, instead of having to spell my name, because they, you which know, you just did for I me, I just say yeah. Christ is on. I and like that. It's Christ is and he is. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, and do everything with your non-dominant hand today. Oh, okay. Yeah, that won't happen. Yeah, that, that'll be difficult. I used I to just... be ambidextrous. Oh, we'll see. Then that wouldn't be so hard. I think it comes back pretty, Nikki's left-handed, so mm -hmm. but, but her bio dad was left-handed too. I don't know if I could. Another one is walk backwards. As long as you're in a safe space. Yeah, we're going to fall. Yeah, down. That, 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 that. walking backwards. Oh, no. Out in the sun. Uh, no. Again, sun. I fall down a lot. Yeah. So, yes. And here's my favorite. It doesn't have to be backwards day. I implement this in my life. Eat dessert first. Oh, yeah. We I go like that one. to eat out, and I'm looking at the dessert menu before I look at anything else. And, well, and yeah, why save the good stuff for exactly. last? I I full, totally agree. Well, if I'm going to get full. I want it to be on dessert. I <laughs> had to implement with Dolly. I cannot get her to eat a meal unless she gets a little bite of something sweet to start. She will there just go. completely go on strike. I'm not eating. It really? Really so it kind of starts her engine. Mm -hmm. Well, Let's and, I, and my philosophy is, I think you actually eat less sweets because you're not gorging on yeah. the off time mm -hmm. so you've got your little you've got your sweet and then you finish it up with your meal and you're good and you're good versus oh i don't need that i don't need that and then you're then you do eat seven o'clock like oh, yeah really, and then you eat a whole lot more than you would have if you would yeah would that's have just good that's it. good theory mm -hmm. so that's just that's the theory i've had to establish <laughs> <laughs> i like it i'm going to adopt that <laughs> and then the other one is write your name backward oh Actually, having tried with that, your I'll left hand, with your yeah. left hand. <laughs> <I'll have to, laughs> I have to figure what my name I is. Know. I'll have to think. Well, you, it's written frontward. You should have written it backward. Oh, so <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so it looks like a mirror. Oh no, the L did turned out not being right. No, it looks L's like gotta be L O <laughs> R. So when you put it in a mirror, yeah. I'm not even going to try the last name. <laughs> There's an S in there and that going backwards on an S, that is not easy. So are do. you going backward as far as the letter in reverse? Both. Oh, okay. Because I when I thought about it, I thought about it just reversing mm -hmm. your last letter to the front. Yeah, so now I'm doing the everything. Okay, Unless your name's comes and, the, you should be fine. Yes. <laughs> oh, there we go. Or oh, Anna. 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 Chats. Yeah. Now, I used to have the last name of Pananan. So, oh. yeah, P-A-A-N-A-N-A-N. -A 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 that would be, <laughs> I wouldn't even attempt it. Wow, that's like Mississippi. Yes, it is. <laughs> you can let it just letter I. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Oh, well, that's a good one. Yeah, what else you got in there? Anything? Saying goodbye when greeting people. That's We did that. That's the only one we adopted. Yep. And then switching your personality. Once again, I don't need a opposite day for that. It could be yeah, anything that would switch my personality into something else. Depends on but do I see what I say. <laughs> exactly. A couple other ones that were interesting was um, like if you have wine in the evening, having your wine in a coffee cup 
instead of a wine glass. That's opposite. And have coffee in the wine glass? Yeah, and then you have oh, your coffee yeah. in your wine glass. One that won't break. Um, if you take a bath at night, you would take your bath in the morning and your shower at night. That's opposite. What's another one? And, of course, the food. Breakfast for dinner and oh, okay. dinner. Which for we kind of do lost. anyway. I love I know. Yeah, dinner. I do yeah. too. Breakfast yeah. for dinner is awesome. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So that gives me more than I ideas. thought there was. Because when they first, when you said that last week, I thought, and all that? I can think of are shoes backwards. Yeah, or... and I thought another other thing was us playing opposite roles for the day. We oh were, yeah, uh, just kind of like uh, pretending, setting yeah. in yeah. setting in different offices and oh, you know that would be like really appreciation for each other's jobs. Oh yeah, like, oh you can have your position back. <laughs> I have appreciation for yours because I did it for a while. So you you can have that one. <laughs> I did all your all. So, yeah. At the same time. So no, opposite. thank you. I yeah. I don't want to be a tour guide either. So you can keep your yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you uh. So I I've been wanting to do this just here. Oh um, yes. And a fifteen minutes of yoga each day is good for your mental health. We should do that. And just getting a movie, because especially when you're sitting in an office all day, you're sitting in a chair. And so I I have thought about this. I have saved videos about this. Have I done it yet? Well, but today's a new day. day. So, <laughs> so we're we should do to... the opposite of what we regularly do, which would be this. So, and I, <laughs> it's just basic, <laughs> basic yoga. Or not. Nothing, nothing fancy. Um. It can be done once a day, twice a day, preferably early in the morning or in the evening. Um, it can be helpful for you to fast, uh, fasten your weight loss and maintain overall health. Um, it rewires your brain chemistry and will boost your mood. Also giving you more flexible muscles, um, building mental fortitude, um, and it encompasses both body and mind. So... I, my mom texted me yesterday and said she got my dad to do yoga. So good job, oh, dad. Way to go. <laughs> also, good job, Nancy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't know how you did it. So uh, keep it up. But yeah, I, yeah. I think I'm going to start at least trying to just block out 15 minutes and stretch. Um, and I, there's tons of videos on YouTube that you can flip through just for basic beginning yoga. And there's even like, you know, senior yoga, chair yoga that you can do if you don't want to get on the floor. Well, yoga. Well, it's <laughs> dolly yoga. There's dolly yoga. You're definitely not in an era of lack of resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you guys it's... tried yoga? You have. Mm -hmm. You've done yoga. I've have heard, you? No. I've I have never. wonderful things about it. It's been on my list. But yeah. But I have not, I've looked into it because I guess there's a great there's, yoga spot right, right down on Knob Hill, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like right the gals go. Right here, yeah. I just have not pulled the trigger. And it, that is have donation based. Yoga? No, I don't think I want to be that hot. Yeah. I don't like hot. I've heard the hot yoga. I'm hot all the time. But I, I mean, I've heard it's great for you, but I, I don't know. But the, the yoga collective that, that puts on, that a lot of our ladies do go to, it's donation based. So you can put in five dollars. You can put in ten dollars. Um, you can put in a dollar if that's all you have. Is that the but, one on Knob Hill? Mm -hmm. okay. But it, you don't pay per class. You it's a donation based, and that all your donations basically pay for um, the instructor. No, it's oh. for the rental for the place. Oh, um, and equipment. A lot of these instructors are volunteering wow. their time because they want people to have good mental health and exercise in their life. Well, I got to I got to I've got to. I mean, it's just down the road from me, really, because it's right across from Safe. There's right? a part and of me that says no, no. That's no? that's a different one. This one oh. is in the over by Ted's Music, behind the Starbucks and Mods Pizza. It's in that little shop. Well, that's oh, in the old woman's okay. place. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there is one in Nob Hill, and there's also one. There's another one out. I think it's the Renew. Out. It's over by Renew. It's a that's a hot yoga place. Oh, okay. Well, I have to check. Maybe I can go to Ted's Music, take my ukulele lessons, and then go to yoga because I still haven't done that yet. It's ready to go, but I know. I haven't done it. So if you guguys want to join me to stretch today, okay, feel free. All right, after tacos. 
Today's taco day. Yep. Taco day. So by the time this is posted, it'll be over. Oh yeah. Um. So, but we will have our next one. When will it be the next? Twenty the second of February. Yep. Right. Yeah. Twenty mm -hmm. second of February. February. So. And then we have taco feeds going on through April. Then it starts the barbecue. Oh, I love the barbecue. Oh, you just yeah. love the things that so they what? do. Yeah. I just love food. <laughs> oh, I know. I love them all. So what is in the barbecue? So what? you get um, hamburger, hamburger, baked beans. And normally it's either macaroni or potato salad. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, and they so barbecue good. them right outside on the grill. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. Cheese. You get cheese. You get cheese or onions. I don't eat the onions, obviously, but. Tomatoes, lettuce, your squirt stuff. Your squirt me hungry. Stuff. I know. Talking yeah. about all this food. Yeah. So on that note, I think I'll just go to some riddles I found. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe I'll distract from the food. Okay. I'm gonna drink my water. Which, so. which you are kind of being an opposite day today because I'm normally yeah because you're the you know, dad normally... joke finder. So now, oh yeah, yeah we found some <laughs> big ones. So which ones did I? Okay. So I asked a friend in Washington what the difference was between a state like Washington and one like Florida. He shrugged and said, <laughs> I know the answer for the apples and oranges. <laughs> That's good. It is. Apples and oranges. Apples and oranges, which is very true. Why should you save your pennies? I already forgot that one. <laughs> it makes good sense. Oh, <laughs> Of course I forgot that one. And here's another one. Why do do a dog and a phone, what do a dog and a phone have in common? Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> they both have caller ID. <laughs> I like that one. I have never heard that. That is just clever. And clever. And what do the red light say to the green light? Did you tell us that one? Nope, I didn't. Oh, I missed okay. just you guys this say to the green light. Uh, red light to the green light. Get a move on. Don't look, I'm changing. <laughs> <laughs> and what did the invisible man turn, why did the invisible man turn down the job offer? Oh, I told you guys. This yeah. Story. And now I forgot what it was. <laughs> I He couldn't see himself in that position. position. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't see himself <laughs> doing it. Yep. That's and good. I think that's all I've got. Oh, those are so, good ones. Yeah, good. They were just funny. Oh, so I heard one on the news today. The dad joke. Do you guys ever hear that in the morning? It's the little local, I think it's Tri-Cities, but mm -hmm. but it comes in uh, KNDO or something. But, um, and they did the opposite where the girl that did the jokes and the guy that usually does it didn't. Mm -hmm. But And she really messed it up, so I probably will too. But what is Forrest Gump's... Combination. Lock combination. I don't know. One for us. One. <laughs> I think that's how it was. Anyway, I thought that was cute. One for us. One. Anyway. Were they doing opposite day today too? Yeah, so they, were. they were. Yeah. We're in we're in the cool. So in fact, that's where I got the idea of to look up your birthday. Oh, yeah, because they did that, too. The three of them did that. And I was like, oh, that's a good one we could do. So I cheated. So what do you have? Um, few announcements. Uh, I just grabbed my stack, so I don't even know if I have all the right announcements, but they're in here somewhere. Um, but just holidays that we normally go over um, through the end of the month. Next month is just around the corner. It'll be February 1st next Wednesday. So we'll have a whole new list of what's going oh, on. Oh, wow. February. But um, Friday is... Fun at work day and chocolate cake day. Oh, oh that's yes. perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. Right. Chocolate cake and fun. And it, well, tomorrow is National Spouses Day. So well, thank you, spouse. Reminder. Thank you, spouse. <laughs> so, thank you, Matt, for all you do. We would try to get them on. Yeah. Uh, like he ever Al. watches it, though. I know. Well, Al <laughs> does if I turn it on and he doesn't want to get up. <laughs> he will. He makes my lunch every day. He's been making dinner. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, he has my little watch sitting there ready to go, my phone, and I just kind of out the door. And it was funny because, and I have to tell you, sometimes you forget. So 
I go out the door and I go, love you. And he doesn't say anything. I said, I love you. And he's like, oh yeah, love you. And I'm thinking, what are you, butthead? <laughs> you know, I, what? and the whole break, you know, and then I get in the car and I'm looking at my lunch, my watch. <laughs> my car has start. He started my car and it's warm. There you go. That's and why I'm like, just in love. Uh, so yeah, I got out. Of the, I got out of the car and I walked in and I said, "I'm sorry. I you show me every day." So that was pretty funny. That is like that is sometimes funny. it's not just the words, but sometimes that's what you think, mm -hmm. and you don't look at the things they do for you. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Al. I love you. And then yesterday was National Compliment Day. I don't know if you guys have Facebook, but it reminded me that it was Compliment Day and that I should oh. give somebody a compliment, but I didn't have time to do that. But it sent me a notification that I should oh. compliment somebody. Well, you do so I well. I was going to say, you do that all the time. You, you well, did it probably several times without even realizing you were doing it. So. It's also give the compliment <laughs> back day. <laughs> What's the next day? Can <laughs> 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 We actually did that yesterday, and it was pretty funny because she said, "Oh, today's a karma," and I said, "Well, you do think you do things so well," and she goes, "Well, thank you," and walked out, and I go, "Uh, <laughs> to also give compliment back day." You have fourteen in your door at the moment. <laughs> uh, that's what Leslie does for us uh, for Valentine's. So Gabby gets to experience this. I've left mine up all year. And they're and getting every, replaced. Every, every day in February, she puts a heart on her door. Till Valentine's. Until Valentine's, right. <clears throat> and it says it has a compliment. <clears throat> a compliment, like you're you're so witty or something like that. Best anyway, cat herder. I am the best cat <laughs> herder. And so I left them up all year. I just thought they were great. And then people could see them. Yeah. And so she wants to do them again. I said, no, just go to my door. Just check them off. You know? <laughs> no, it's like, yeah, you're this one today. Oh, it's this one. So you don't have to do it all over again because they're. I like them. They're part of my door. <laughs> so anyway, that's something that's very cool that she does. And you started yeah. doing that right from the get-go, too. But I've been doing it for my for my kids and my husband for a while. Oh, so nice. That was kind of a tradition that we always do. Um, and then... Well, bring the kindness to work too well it's very much appreciated yeah thank you're you you're really good about thinking of those things and uh -huh. showing yeah. appreciation yeah, for what we very do good <clears throat> i just i don't know i just always like to find fun new things like this past weekend i brought you guys what we made and i mispronounced oh, yeah. it so we had that the chinese new year this past sunday it's the year of the rabbit uh, which I printed off. I can't find the stuff I printed off for you guys because I printed <laughs> you off what you were, and now I don't know where I put it. Oh. I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it it's supposed to be a year of like wealth and prosperity. Oh, kind of oh, what, I can what that? Oh, oh, I yeah, yeah. welcome. Yeah, exactly. it. Now I don't know how true that'll be. You you never know. Um. But we celebrated by making like a, a Chinese New Year dessert. Um, it's good too. Yeah, it was really good. It's good. I, and mm -hmm. so I, I told you guys it was one. What is it? Wan Dui. But I think it's one. It's really hard to pronounce because I do not speak Chinese. So I apologize if I'm butchering this name. Um, but it's. But it's really good. It is. That's yeah, good. It's. It. Not Wan Dui. Dui is the last part, but I can't remember how to pronounce the first part. But um, it's basically a red bean paste is in the middle. And I know that sounds absolutely oh, terrible, it's so but good. it's like really super good. sweet red beans. Yeah. Um. So you multiply the red beans and then it goes, how did you get the beans so sweet? I know. Because there's a cup of sugar in it. <laughs> oh, anything with sugar. Yeah, because I took that bite and it was like, and I, I was a little hesitant because you take the bite and you see the red bean paste in the middle and you're like, Okay, I'm, well, first off, it was hard, mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. and my teeth wanted to fall out. Because <laughs> it's fried. Yeah. It, and it's, so but I, it's soft on the inside, but yes. it's a crunchy yeah. exterior. Yeah, and my teeth just weren't glued in real well that day. <laughs> and so I bit it, and it was like, okay, and then I see the paste. I thought, oh, I don't know. And I, so I thought, no, try it. And it was, it was so really good. good. 
I just stuck the whole thing in my mouth and let it. It was know. really good. Mm. So yeah, I have I to, I something. Would, thank you for bringing it. Yeah, that's something I would have ordered off the menu. Yeah, or, because when you look at, it, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah, had you not brought it. No, it was so good. So thanks for expanding my case. Yes, your palate. Something new. <laughs> she does that a lot, though. She'll have come up with something that's like, oh, this is keto-free, fat-free, diet-free. Diet oh, free. yeah, the it's tiramisu. Like, that was that was good. That didn't last very long in our house. It didn't <laughs> last very long in my office. <laughs> so I'm taking the pieces that day. And it, normally when I make keto desserts, like, Matt hoards them. Because, like, I'll make oh. desserts for the kids all the time, and it's not a big deal. And then, like, if I make keto, though, he's like, but that was mine. And I'm like, well, I'm taking some for Lori and for Mike. And he goes, did you make them another one? And I'm like, no. I'm like, it's a process to make that. Oh. Okay. (laughs) Well, and and both things that you brought were before my fast ended, Mm -hmm. which ended my fast right then and there. Because it was not, not going to last. And yeah, that tiramisu was so good. Everything you make is good. Oh, I don't think you. I've ever had anything that I've gone, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'll eat it later. But I've never eaten it later. Ba- baking is my forte. Like, I'm mm-hmm. in a big... See, I'm cooking. Th- you're either th- bake or cook. And if you have both, you're... We do both. Great. Al and I do both. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We yeah. like baking and we baking like cooking. baking has such precision. Mm-hmm. You have to, you know, with cooking, you just kind of, oh, no, a little bit more here. But mm-hmm. you can't do that with baking. You can with certain, certain things. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I love I just, love I don't cooking. spend my time baking. I tried when I was younger doing all. So that's great. I No, I'm just. Really? Oh. Yeah. To baked goods. Even for Thanksgiving, I gave up making oh. desserts. Wow. Like, no, I'll just order in. Order well, some wheat pizza. Now pizza I'm very lucky because my daughter in law mm-hmm. does all the baking and cooking for holidays. And oh my gosh, she yeah. just goes crazy. She is really good. Cookies, fudge, brownies, wow. candy. And it's just as well because I love sweets. Oh, so yeah. it's probably good that I do not like to bake. Because... Oh, probably. <laughs> I found a really neat trick though. Okay, have you guys, you, you know, the um, Pillsbury or whatever, but I use the Pillsbury um crescent rolls Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so you take the dough out of that and take it out Mm -hmm. and then you just take your roller i put parchment paper over it so it's this big thing with all these seams Mm -hmm. and i use my roller Mm -hmm. to make it one big piece Mm -hmm. and then i put butter cinnamon and sugar just and then roll it up oh and there's your cinnamon roll cut them up into little baby cinnamon rolls or you would take the roll and make kind of a little king cake roll out of it yeah and cook it oh al loves that oh, wow and then i did it where i split them in two mm-hmm. so rolled these uh, and then folded them over with a ton of cheese inside mm-hmm. and there's your uh cheese zombies, cheese zombies. zombies. see now that kind of bake Ooh. that kind of baking i can do yeah mm-hmm. i, I like short, that cheap, cheap that, cheap. <laughs> it is shortcut <laughs> baking well, you can do, okay, so I did this with the boys because Hocus Pocus 2 came out at the end of oh, last year, yeah. right around Halloween. Um, I think it was like right at the beginning of October. So they made these Hocus Pocus buns. Well, oh. you take the crescent roll and of course we got the ginormous marshmallows, which are not supposed to, but the boys oh, were like, no, we yeah. need the big, big ones. Marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> so you just get the regular size marshmallows will do. And then you butter the crescent roll Put a little um, cinnamon and sugar down, and then you fold the marshmallow in it. So, so you're you, rolling it. Yeah, like just one of the regular. larger ones, not the camp size yeah. ones. Um, and then you put it in the oven and bake it. Well, they're called hocus pocus buns because the marshmallow melts and it disappears. That's oh. funny. And you know what? My mom actually made those for years. Mm-hmm. I don't know where she came up with it. And it is delicious because Ooh. the marshmallow totally melts. You don't see a marshmallow in there, mm-hmm. uh, but it is so. But it has the taste of oh, it, and it's it, sticky. Yes, we it is. So see now I have a can of crescent rolls at home, there and we go. just bought marshmallows, marshmallow and in there. cinnamon and sugar. I'm going to try it now. Tonight. How good are you at rolling that crescent to look like a crescent? Uh, I'm. I'm I mean, OCD, <laughs> so mine look like crescent rolls. Oh, I, I just kind of wish to do because I. Yeah, I get it done that way. I get the thing just 
just right just right and then i start rolling and then i have to adjust so that it's right down the middle and <laughs> even when i put weenies in there because i'll cut the weenies uh -huh. and put cheese mm -hmm. and do that i have to do it and then i have to fold it over on the end so the cheese doesn't oh, split out so yeah that's very particular i'm kind of crescent roll snob well there you go i've like never been yeah. you would yeah. not be okay with us making our piggies in a blanket at our house because like i just had the boys who we were just tearing pieces and rolling. oh yeah no I, I i get <laughs> i'd eat it anyway it doesn't matter but it's just you know but i'm like that when i bake too though my cupcakes have to have that mm -hmm. swirl and well and yeah. i think that's another reason i don't care to bake i can i can make the inside mm -hmm. you know but it what makes baking great is the appearance of it too. Yeah. And so oh, you're right. So yeah. you can't I used to decorate cakes. And, well, Back when go. Nikki was little, and this is the funniest thing, because when Nikki was about four, we used to I lived in Wapato and we had what was called the backyard preschool. Mm -hmm. And so each parent would have the the kids in the neighborhood. Well, we were country, so they would come and you'd have the the mothers all showed up and we had school. Mm -hmm. Well, for graduation, we went out to Fort Simcoe. And so I made, and I was doing cake decorating at the time for weddings and stuff. And so I made a giant cookie monster with a cookie. Mm -hmm. And the cookie was a cake size. So yeah, the cookie monster was about this big. Well, he was blue fur. Mm -hmm. So I had the tip and I, you know, it took me oh, forever. But it took me a long time to get that blue, the right color blue. So I've oh, got yeah. that and then I've got, so it's decorated. It was fabulous. It really turned out good. So we get out to Fort Simcoe, and um, so we're all eating cake and stuff, and the kids are playing, and and I look over, and Cindy Harrington, who was sitting across from me, she's saying something, and I go, what is the matter with your mouth? And she goes, what is the matter with your mouth? <laughs> and we look around, everybody's face and tongue oh, and it was so man. blue, and it wouldn't come off. I used so, so much blue dye to get that color. <laughs> It was so, I was so glad that we got pictures before, but I did get a few pictures where we, we were so blue. Oh, that's and I, so and I never thought about the fact that the dye oh, would yeah. color you. And yeah. I mean, it didn't come off for a long time. That's funny. But yeah. it takes a lot to get those good colors. Right I mean, colors, yeah. Those, those strong colors like that. Yes. Because yeah. like Lori knows that my children for their birthdays. Oh, they're great they, things. I think their fun game of the year is let's see if mom can do this. Can they're like, mom make the cake? Yeah. I mean, I've had ran, last year, Vincent wanted a black cat. He wanted Carl for his cake. And I'm yeah. going, I got to make Stop. black icing. <laughs> so you can imagine yes. how everybody's mouth looked after Absolute. we're all eating this black icing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is. Um. But yeah, they, they come up with the most random stuff. Like I've had cats. I've had, I want a five-eyed monster with a ninja kitty. Yeah. I want a shark with Spider-Man riding it. Um, that was a good <laughs> one. That was a good one. And she did it. It was a shark and Spider-Man's on top riding it. That was oh, so cool. Or the, I want an orange kitty with a blueberry hat. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so his hat was made out of blueberries. Yeah. Oh, Wow. <laughs> Yeah, they. it's every year. What can we make mom make for our birthday? Can she do that? <laughs> well, and mom. Kids, can she challenge. can do it. Yes. yes. Yep. So, yay on announcements. Oh, yeah. Speaking oh, of did. challenge, yep, yep, yep. we did it, guys. We got Congratulations. Five, Actually, yeah. we're 538. And Megan asked me today, she goes, well, aren't you going to take that down and put up a new sign? I said, well, I kind of figured like every... 100 that we hit when we hit 600 i'll put up a sign when we hit 700 i'll put up a sign you um, gotta have the bread though squirting i out did of oh, oh, you i didn't go see dang it so um it says we did it on the front and i have thank you at the bottom um but yeah no we, amazing. Now we get our fire has the plastic this plastic's light mm -hmm. yeah we obtain that that's i didn't think they great do it yeah. yeah that's great and so this is what the bench looks like so they're taking our plastic and making a bench or the bench is made out of mm -hmm. recycled plastic yeah, are you they, they'll make deck planks out of it they can make picnic that tables so out of cool. it it's a lot of stuff that that company does yeah, we got to set that so everybody can see it and just mm -hmm. see what an amazing, um, what they can do. I mean, mm -hmm. you see it on TV, mm -hmm. but yeah. to actually be able to see it, touch it, set in it. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. I saw this one has a plaque on it. Does it say on there that we you reached can our get goal? A plaque. We'll have to, we'll have to, probably we'll go down to the trophy place. And get oh, there you plaque. go. Yeah. 
and put our names on it. Yep. Yeah, Seniors Inc. and Herman Center. No, I mean effort. our names. Our names. <laughs> yeah, because this is Leslie, Lori, Gabby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is our bench. This is our bench. Um, no, we'll share. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, my name shouldn't be on there because I was a naysayer <laughs> the whole time until, yeah. And then Women's Shelter Toilet Tree Drive is still going on if you yep. want to donate till the end of March. Um, yeah, but we're coming into February. There, All of our groups are going on. Um, nothing too too big coming up. We'll have another blood drive that's coming up in March um, on St. Patty's Day. So be green. Yeah, oh, St. And be green. Green. Be green. Yeah. Uh, presentation, first one, February 10th. Yes. I just I put just, those out yesterday online. Yeah, so. I just talked to Edmund. He's going to be presenting the New Year's Eve uh, trip to San Francisco, mm -hmm. where we will have a party down there, party to the New York time, and then uh, waterfront, um, just all the tours that we do. That's, that's a great trip, too, because the weather's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully all the rain is over by, well, it's end of this year, so... Yep. Yeah, it'll be great. But he'll be presenting that. And then also the final of um, uh, the Mighty Canyons of the Southwest, which is in August, I believe. And that trip's really filling up. We've got probably 25 people okay, on that trip. trip honestly. Yeah. And then, um, oh, and then he may even do a sneak peek. We'll see. But in 2024, because we're already talking about 2024 mm -hmm. world trips coming out July 1st. But we are working on a Greek Isle cruise. Oh, wow. And there's a couple different oh, options that we're looking at. So one of them is you fly into Jerusalem, mm -hmm. into Israel, really? and then get on the ship well, and then go to the Greek Isles, which I know there's been a large population that have wanted to do both. So we might be able to knock both of those out oh, that with one. Cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. So and then we leave for Mardi Gras. Countdown to Mardi Gras on February 14th, Valentine's Day. Well, I'll be going to Mardi Gras on the 18th. Yes, you will. <laughs> yeah, so we'll be I'll be taking a group of 38. We've got four from Pittsburgh, um, two from Tucson, two from Portland, and 32 from here. Wow. That will be meeting us down there. Four, five, yeah, 38. Uh, that will we'll all be meeting together and um touring. And Edmund says he's got two buses mm -hmm. for that trip yeah. so our group will have one bus on our own so you'll be back on actual fat tuesday yeah Good. uh what's that the 21st mm -hmm. yeah. i was gonna make a king cake for yeah. you guys yeah we will uh we will be yeah we won't get i guess the the crazy people it starts early but we oh leave, yeah it starts like leave, a month before yeah we leave new orleans the day that they come in mm -hmm. so we celebrate mardi gras with the locals and their parade, and then we go to Lafayette mm -hmm. and celebrate with them, mm -hmm. and then we go to uh, Tabasco Island, the uh, Bayou mm -hmm. boat ride, um, and the um, the the big what is it called? Uh, not a mansion, but a plantation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a couple of plantations, and the World War II Museum. That's a so I am very excited museum. about that. Mm -hmm. Well, if you can figure out how to, you yeah. know. Get a muffalata back here. I'll okay, I'll give you money. That's funny. You what is a muffalata? It's an Italian based. Um, came from the Italian immigrants, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Is it food? Yeah, yes, so it's okay. like, like a this, sandwich. It's kind of like it's like a sourdough, but it's okay. kind of it's like a multi grain sourdough. Some have cheese on it, some don't. Um, but it's um, lunch meat. All your salamis and ham and so it probably uh, wouldn't stay probably in my not. suitcase. And then it's got like this um green olive relish on oh, it. Oh, that sounds good because I love green olives. Just, mm. Okay, eat one for me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try to bring it back that way. That yeah. was that was Matt's and my stop. As soon as we went to New Orleans, we had to get a muffalata. Well, and then there's the um I, it's not baguette. Benets. It's a big benets. Yeah, yeah. Now, that, I've heard yeah. about those. Oh, so I everybody's told you talking that. about that. Yeah. I didn't think we'd wait in line. Like, oh, it's a dessert. We don't need to. Oh, it's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. About yeah. midnight. I do like different the line, food. <laughs> line simmer down. Did it? <laughs> so, yeah, muffalata. 
Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, well, I could put a little cooler in my suitcase, but <laughs> probably wouldn't last since New Orleans is our first stop. Yeah, that so. would be a long time for it to sit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's around me and Al, so we probably wouldn't make it anyway. <laughs> yeah. So. So anyway, yeah. So full February. Yeah, and it's gonna two be trips. busy. New North. Lots of short month. stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. Northwest so Flower and Garden. I still have some seats. I've got to cut that off soon though because I've got to buy the tickets before I leave. Mm -hmm. And then, um, surprisingly, the trip to Leavenworth, our fun day in Leavenworth, is the biggest one we've done so far. Yeah, it's just a lot of people. It's a lot of people going to gonna go. So I'm very excited. I'm trying to get a hold of Leavenworth. Um, uh, travel or the um what is it called when a tourism you know when you're trying to call a city and you're oh the you, oh, yeah like, i can't start. it's a city we that, have one yeah yes. yep. it's called um tourist center yeah tourist center yeah okay said, is that what it's center. called yeah, okay so. so i'll google that anyway i tried to find out because they told me before that if we had a group come they would give us coupons and you know, things like that. So we've got nice. a pretty good sized group coming this time. So that's what I'm working on today. Good job. Yeah. So Gabby's been working on the newsletter. Oh, oh yes. Oh, it's going to so, have a new look. Yeah. She's well, we'll see. Making it, <laughs> she's making it fun and funky, just like we are. Yep, that's true. And if you haven't signed up for your newsletter, $15 a year, um, and you get it mailed to your house. If you need to renew, just stop by the front or give us a call. Um, and we can always check your subscription too if you're not sure if yes. it's due or not. Um, we do have the new option of the email subscription. If you don't want it mailed to your house, I mean, you can get both if you want. If you want the email and the one mailed to your house, that's $25. But just for the email is $10. Um, and that'll come in your inbox. And then you get weekly updates of what's going on. You get the book. You get the... On the, the email book. version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, I like that. Yeah, it just comes right in there. Ding! Yeah, because there are things that come up after once the newsletter's out because mm -hmm. you don't get another one until the next week. Right. Quarter. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of nice you to have that option. Revert back to it. Yeah. Because like, do you actually get more for your bang? You kind of do. Or bang you just don't have a physical copy. But if you have a printer at home or if you if you come to the Mormon Center, you can print it in our computer lab. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> true. There's always things to do. Um, but yeah, things do do come up because I know um, Northwest Justice Project, they just called me yesterday and March they're coming to do a avoiding senior scam talk. So oh, that's if something you new. haven't done that, come, you learn so much mm -hmm. from this avoiding senior scam because they are out there mm -hmm. and they are, they're not even out there. They're here. They're in your phone. They're in your email, anything. Yeah, and it's not you know. even seniors. I mean, no. just the scamming in general is- I know. Uh, I have gotten I have gotten the robocalls from, they find out where your family lives. I mean, my brother lives in Maryland. Right, and then and they use those area codes. Yes, they use the area codes of your you know, family members, and you think, I'll let them all go. But emails, and um, like people who get, oh, there's funny jokes. You want to pass them? I don't open them. Because they're in one link, just one link, or the uh, social security. Oh, we have information. Just click on here, and we'll give. You. Don't do it. Yeah, I never do that. I am another shocked. thing when you're on Facebook. What somebody was mentioning, you have those little games that you yes, put in there. They say be very careful with that because you divulge like, like for instance, your favorite color. Well, some people use that as security information right. on their passcodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they get those little pieces. Yeah, and they establish something, and then they can they can hack you. And there are some brilliant minds working to ruin us. Yes, you know yes. if they would just yes. use it for good. Well, it's not yeah. even just brilliant minds. There's just AIs that do it. Because oh, I know. There's so many like AI generators for things that mm -hmm. um, you can go to certain websites and like I. I know I've used it. Matt's used it too. Like if you're stuck on coding a web page or something and you need something, you just go, I need code for this. And it, it might work. It might not. Most of the time it does work though. And it just, just comes right up. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah. yeah it is That's true. I've just gone with the phones. I just, I don't answer it. 
I don't because either. if I don't recognize the number, I don't answer it because I figured if it is something vitally important, they'll leave business, a message. They'll leave a message. Yes. And nine times out of 10, they don't. Mm -hmm. And that's to me an indicator. And I put it on the sense. block thing mm -hmm. where you oh, call so mine. Yeah. And so it hasn't stopped. And I, every time it comes through, I'll just block. If they don't leave a message, I'll block it. Mm -hmm. I'll block it. I'll block it. I'll block it. I'll block it. Because there is that section on here yeah. that you can block but it. The but the problem with the more blocks more. is they, they, what is it they have you on a cycle like a robocall yeah. so they have several different numbers that yes so when you don't answer the first one the other they'll one try the other one yeah. yes i know i'll so, spend at night time i'll just go through every one of them and just block 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 and the next day i've still got 10 or 20 yeah. coming through yeah. so yeah leave me alone yeah but it's a good it's a but that scam you thing can is never great. have enough information on the scams yes. because scams are happening Quicker they're constantly than evolving. They're constantly yeah. evolving. Yeah. So it's and they you know, do target a lot of the seniors. Yes, that they do. Just have that trusting nature still, mm -hmm. or well, that can't be right. Mm -hmm. And and they're still using the one where so and so calls and says that your son or grandson or some. They're still using that, yeah. and that's been out, and we all know. But people still, fall, still fall for, for it. it. Mm -hmm. So come to the scam. Uh, scam yeah. lesson long. We have those every month, don't we? W Mike Mullen teaches one for internet security. So that's always a good one to take. Yeah. This one um, is not only internet security, it's a variety of different things that the police department has come across, that the law department is, or the lawyers have come, been going across as like people um, getting scammed. So they're going to be coming in. Yeah, I mean, it's even that. utility workers coming to your door. Oh. That you shouldn't be opening, unlocking your door. No, they or letting them in your house. Or, yeah. If they don't have badges. And if you're not comfortable, close that door and call the utility yeah. their main number. Mm -hmm. Call them and ask them. Yeah, don't even open so. the door. Just, yeah. You, you can't so show me some scams going on in many different. And it's different sad, things. but you, we really have to take that. I know, know we, we go have, from. You know, we're taught to trust and, and yeah. have to almost have kind of an untrusting nature, nature to just I be, know. Caught, I guess, cautious yeah. to be, you know, yeah. a lot of caution into things. So, so be careful out there. Yeah. Yes, please do and come, come learn. What is the date on that? I don't know. Oh, we don't have a date. My head. I we'll scheduled it yesterday, but I think it's the 29th. I know it's a Wednesday. I'm pretty sure March. it's the 29th of March. We will say it starting next week. I'll be making week. a flyer. Yeah. And then I'll have it in my stack of randomness. <laughs> stack of randomness. <laughs> <laughs> um, but well, yeah. I hope everybody got to hear us and yeah, see us well. Better than last because week. last week we are really sorry. That, and we appreciate you listening in, though. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of views. <laughs> Maybe they didn't stay, but it uh, it was it was such a good show, too. It was a good show. I know. It's a shame that. Yeah, um, we'll do it again. The audio came through, but the. The, the video part yeah, of it was struggling. froze on many weird positions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, but thanks for sticking with us and hopefully this works out well. I'm excited to see how all of it worked. Mm -hmm. Thank you, cameraman Ryan. You're nice and sleek. Yes, yeah. you are. And you didn't move once. I don't yep. think. Handsome electronic. Yes, very handsome. <laughs> what <laughs> we'll see. What, what does that say on there? Uh, Depths. Depths De Tech. Depths Tech. Oh, we could have called him Johnny Depps. Oh. Oh. We still can. Well, we still can. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan fired Johnny Depps Tech. Johnny Depps Tech. Get your stuff, Ryan, and go. Yeah, you're out of here. <laughs> Maybe Ryan's the mic. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, Ryan. Yes. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> So what do we say when we're going to leave today? Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. Have a great week. No, you want to have a terrible week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Have a terrible week. Have a yeah. Terrible yeah. week. We won't see, see you next see week. See how hard opposite day is? It is, it very is hard. hard. There's a lot of thinking involved. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching Chat Face with the Harmon Center Girls. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Like or share as well. Have a great day.